So back in 2010, I was in the PhD school doing some research on languages, like small languages to me, specific languages. And uh, a person I knew invited me to the JetBrains office to talk about some ideas. And I, I, I thought that it was about the domain-specific languages that they were doing here. Uh, th there is still a project on domain-specific languages, which is disconnected from Kotlin. But it turned out they, they actually were, were thinking about creating a new language. As far as I know, the initial conversation went like this. Like the founder of the company was asking, like, what we, we are doing IDs pretty well. What else can we do for, for programmers? And one, one of the key engineers at the time said, like, the best thing you can do for a programmer is a programming language. And uh, Max Shafirov, who is uh, the CEO now, and at that time he was, I think, leading the IDEA project, uh, said that, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Language, we're a tooling company. Uh, but next morning, Max came into the office and said, yeah, let's do it. Uh, and they, they started thinking about the language. And then uh, somebody invited me, and we had a conversation. And I started like Max. I said, like, why? There are languages already. OK, you don't like Java. There are alternatives to Java. If the problem is solved. Don't try to, to solve it again. Like, there's no point. And uh, uh, they actually told me a few things I didn't know. Uh, one thing that existing, like I had an academic background. Uh, so they explained how the existing languages were too academic and didn't actually work in many industrial settings. And it was like very convincing. They actually didn't work. <laughs> Uh, and another important argument was that uh, JetBrains as a company has a very good position in the market to actually start a language and make it uh, visible uh, so that it can be adopted. Because like, if I, as an individual, if I style, start a language in, uh, in the corner, many people do this like every day. But those languages don't get anywhere. So two big things. One, that there is an actual need. And the other, that um, with starting here, I can actually uh, have a chance to get it popular were the main arguments. Also, I was finishing my PhD, which I, by the way, never defended, uh, <laughs> because Kotlin was more interesting. Um, uh, I, I was thinking about a job, and I was considering like either doing research in some lab or doing my own project here. It was a pretty easy choice, you know. <laughs> a funny bit to add to the story. At that point, I was thinking about which country I would like to live in. And uh, I tried a few places and figured it didn't matter too much to me. So I decided I, I would just pick a job. And uh, the job ended up in my hometown. <laughs>